Hey. hey. I can't decide what to wear. Which one of these do you like better? This one? <laughs> or this one? Need to see the gray one again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gray one, and, and this time, slowly. You know, I thought we had the kind of relationship where I could walk around here practically naked and it wouldn't be a big deal. Guess that won't happen again. Oh, it'll happen again. In here. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Wiseman, we've talked about this. You and I are just friends. I'm talking about the new barista. Tanya or Tonka. Can't quite make out her name tag. Go with Tonka. Isn't she exquisite? The way she frosts the milk, whether it be whole, non-fat, or soy. Go talk to her. Good thinking. Mm. <laughs> hey, good luck. You know what? Give me another mocha. Uh, Tonka and Wiseman. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Excuse me, that's my newspaper. Yeah, well, finders... Sydney? Alex! Hey. How are you? I'm great. Were you about to say finders keepers? Do I look like somebody who... What's it been, like a year? Yeah. Oh. Since Todd and I broke up. Yeah, well, you know what? You look great. Thanks, so do you. Except for this. Behind your ear. Oh, still doing the magic, huh? Weekends, but I'm keeping my day job. Well, it's always good to have something up your sleeve. <laughs> so I have to go, but you should call me sometime. Great, why don't you give me your number? No need, you already have it. It's in my ear, isn't it? Check your pocket. She's good. <laughs> Guess what? It's not Tonka. You don't really want my opinion. No, I do. You're a business major. I'm curious to get your take on it. Okay, is it even possible to print news on breakfast cereal? That's just it. I don't know. I need to do a feasibility study before I take it to the Count Chocula people. Oh. Hey, Todd. Never gonna guess who I ran into today. Oh. Poof. Sydney? Yeah. <laughs> she came into the coffee place. Who's Sydney? Old girlfriend. We broke up a year ago. Ancient history. Thinking about asking her out, but I just wanted to check with you first. Hey, you don't need my permission. Well, I know. I just didn't want to do anything to violate the code. Mm. The code? <laughs> it's the uh, unspoken code between men. No one ever told me about a code? <laughs> it's because it's unspoken. And it's between men. <laughs> I've heard of it. So we're good? Oh, yeah, we're great. Go for it. Oh, you're the man. <laughs> nice finger guns. This is a bad idea. What? Alex, dating your old girlfriend? My understanding is that men don't like that. Small men. Men without vision. You mean like Mr. Magoo? I mean, you can't tell me that this doesn't bother you. All right, it's a little weird. We did go out for five months. So then you should tell Alex. Well, it's not my place to tell him who he can or can't date. Alex is a big boy. Hey! Who ate my blue gumball? I was saving it. As tensions escalate in Tel Aviv, That's how you're going to do your new cereal? This is a prototype, Alex. Eventually, this will all be done in Korea. Well, good luck. See you later. Where are you going? Brooklyn. Meet Sydney. Oh, what is that, three nights in a row? Did she let you saw her in half yet? Are you 
you sure you're okay with this? Hey, come on, this is me. Same guy that got your head out of that banister when we were nine. Yeah, but you got my head stuck in the banister. <laughs> okay, but wasn't I also the guy that got us the sandwiches while we waited for the fireman? <laughs> yeah, so we're good. Couldn't be gooder. All right. By the way, Green? Yeah, why? Uh, Sydney's not a fan. Ah, damn. Damn! <laughs> going with you to the coffee place help you attract this Tonka first of all it's Tanya second of all she needs to see me with a pretty girl she doesn't yet recognize me as a sexual being I am I think we're all a little behind the curve on that one please help me out why would I do this Wiseman because it's really important to me why would I do this Wiseman free coffee and a scone? Hey, scones are three bucks. How about a really nice cookie? Scone. That's her. She's pretty. So, is Tonka like an Indian name? Would you stop that? Just, just hold my hand. All right. Is she doing anything? Wiseman, she's stripping off her clothes and coming over. Oh, no, very funny. Next, please. Yes, there's nothing my woman and I like more after a bout of lovemaking than a hot cup of joe. Sweetie, the nice lady doesn't need to know that. Why not? I'm open and free about my sexuality. I'm a very sexual being. Wise men? No, no, it's okay. I mean, most of us are sexual beings. I think we're just afraid to say it. You know, when we're ordering coffee. <laughs> I'm Wiseman. This is Casey. My lady love. Well, you guys seem perfect together. Please don't say that. Well, you'll jinx it. Two small coffees. And a scone. You sure? They have a lovely selection of cookies. Ten scones. <laughs> you sure you're okay coming to my place? Yeah, going back to Brooklyn is not what I want to do right now. No, I meant with Todd being here and everything. You tell me if I'm okay. Cool. You don't by any chance know where my sunglasses are, do you? <laughs> Actually, you know, my, uh, my room's on this side. Oh, oops. Sorry. <laughs> Are you going to have that dopey grin all day? It's not a dopey grin. It's a goofy grin. <laughs> so this isn't weird at all? No, not really. Hey, everybody. Okay, a little weird. Alex, don't be rude. Aren't you going to introduce me to your new friend? Okay, okay. Hey, Todd. Nice to see you. You look great. Thanks, so do you. You know, there's really no reason why this has to be awkward. I, I, we're all adults and friends. We can handle this, right? Oh, my God. Awkward city. <laughs> uh, I, there's no reason this has to be awkward. I mean, you, uh, you guys broke up, what, a, a year ago? You know, speaking of which, I never thought I handled that quite as well as I could have. No, you were great. You took it really well. Wait a minute, took what? <laughs> you know, when I broke up with you. Whoa, 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 you didn't break up with me. Yes, I did. No, I broke up with you. That's not true. I broke up with you at John's Pizza. You were all over me at John's. I thought your tongue was one of my pizza toppings. <laughs> I can't believe you're lying about this. At the end of the night, I told you we were through. Apparently, you didn't get the message. I I didn't get the message because I broke up with you. Hey, Merlin, why don't you try pulling the truth out of your ear? You've never respected my magic. Who wants a toaster strudel? I'm leaving. Wait! They have frosting! What's your problem, huh? You couldn't just let her be right? No. 
No, Alex, I can't. She's lying. So who cares? Just pretend for an old friend. I mean, we were in Little League together. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you go play in that Little League card. You always do that. How could you do the last ding-dong, Todd? We were in Little League together. How could you forget to flush, Todd? We were in Little League together. <laughs> You don't understand how great last night was. Oh, I understand. I had lots of great nights with her. How could you say that? We were in Little League together. <laughs> you want to see Sydney? Great. Just don't bring her around here. Well, don't tell me what to do. Uh, I think I just did, guy. You want to do this thing? Talk tough, pretty boy. I think I'm telling you to step off. I'm not stepping off. You step off. Give me a reason. I think I've made my point. <laughs> Don't you give me the blackjack dealer shift change hand gesture? This isn't over. Fine, right, keep going. Oh, I will keep going. You bet I'll keep going. Probably eat my gumbo. <laughs> three decaf lattes and three mochas. You have a beautiful coffee calling voice. Are you an alto? You're an odd little man, Wiseman. Thanks. It's an odd little world. <laughs> you want to go out sometime? What about your girlfriend? Yeah, that didn't work out. Well, that's too bad. Eh, you know how love is, Tanya. It fades like the tide. Well, the tide doesn't really fade. It goes out. What am I, an oceanographer? <laughs> All I know is it's, it's over with Casey. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. I kind of thought it would be fun if the three of us could get together. The three of us? You, me, and Casey. No! Why not? I don't do three ways, and if I did, it wouldn't be with you and the coffee girl. You would hardly have to do anything. Oh, okay, so I could just sit back and watch you two? Well, when you put it that way, forget it, wise man. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. What if I just watch you two? Ah! good to see you again. You too. I just needed a couple days to calm down. Mm. Hey, there's Todd. Alex. Oh, come, come over, sit with us. Great. What, Todd, Todd, Todd. Stop, stop. Come on. Come on, man. Just come and sit with us for five minutes, okay? So this is why you wanted to buy me lunch. I'm not sitting down with her. I'm not sitting down with him. Not so sure I want to sit down with you. Fine. Look, I want to stay friends with you, and I want to date you, but I can't do that until you guys make up, so please, come on. First of all, it doesn't matter who broke up with who. Um. I remember a time when you two kids were crazy about each other. I remember when he came home after he first met you, he was giddy. He wasn't giddy. Oh, you giggled like a schoolgirl. <laughs> yeah, and I remember when you would come over, I'd never seen two people so happy. That's, that's when I found my lonesome spot up on the roof. <laughs> but we're not talking about me. The point is, there was a time when you guys really, really liked each other, and now you're, you're having this petty fight about who broke up with who. Doom. <laughs> Todd broke up with me. So why would I was you... embarrassed. No one had ever broken up with me before. I mean, look at me. <laughs> do you see, do you see this? You see this? This is honest. Friends are honest. I'm sorry I lied, Todd. And I'm sorry if I hurt you. Look at us. <laughs> we're sorry, we're honest. Who's better than us? <laughs> Did have a lot of great times together. Remember Vermont? You still wear a brace. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened in Vermont? I'm sorry about all this, I really am. Oh. I wish I had a camera. See, this is what I was after. Forget a camera, I could sketch this. <laughs> nice long hug. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And release.
What the hell is that? It's my three-way outfit. <laughs> Stylish, comfortable, yet there are no tricky belts or buckles to slow down my teammates. <laughs> You know, Wiseman, three ways don't happen as often in life as they do in your head. They couldn't possibly. <laughs> well, it's showtime. Ooh, you came up. Eager. Are you fixing a car or something? Look, uh, Casey may need a little convincing, okay? Just follow my lead. Okay. Hey, Casey. You remember our good friend Tanya? Hi. Uh, could you give us a sec? <laughs> you might want to take this opportunity to limber up. Why did you bring her here? I told you I wasn't into this. I thought if I brought her to your boudoir, nature might take its course. Wiseman, I am tired of explaining this to you. Tanya, I'm not judging. I'm just not into this. Into what? I, I thought we could just get a smoothie or something. See, I don't want to get a smoothie <laughs> from you or Wiseman. Whatever he said, I am not into three ways. Oh, what? Ew, Wiseman! You said you wanted to get together with me and Casey. <laughs> I think we all know what get together means. Yeah, it means hang out, you disgusting little man. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Well, that's one more coffee place I can't go into. No, 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 no. You, you're not getting the concept here. It's, it's news printed right on the cereal. Don't you see? These tricks are for adults. Hello? Hello, Todd. What are you doing here? I thought you were out meeting Alex. I sent him to the boathouse in Central Park. You sent him to Central Park at night? <laughs> Todd, this is complicated. Alex made me realize how much I still care for you. You know, that wasn't what he was going for. I know, but he was right. We had something special, and I just need to know if you're feeling it, too. You want to know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling there may be nothing left of my friend but his dockers and his loafers. <laughs> feeling worried. Would it help if I kissed you? Well, it would help many, many things. <laughs> but Alex wouldn't be one of them. you're here well, I know what happened you said loft but I heard boathouse Alex I can explain no 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 no, no. the funny thing about the boathouse it's actually closed on Monday so the, the only way to get in is to like climb down this big thing of rocks but what you can't see because you know it's dark is that there's a big pond at the bottom I think it's where they keep the boats anywho what are you kids up to I think I may still have feelings for Todd. What? Well, what you said rekindled old feelings, and I had to talk to him alone. So you sent me to the epicenter of violent crime in New York City? <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. I hope you realize how uncomfortable this is for me. Look, Sydney, can you just give us a moment? There's something I have to tell you. I was never entirely comfortable with you dating Sydney. Really? <laughs> you know, I asked you at the beginning. All you had to do was say something. I didn't think that'd be cool. Yeah, you're right. Because what's as cool as this? <laughs> Look, you can't possibly think that I wanted this to happen with her. I know. So what are you going to do about David Copperfield over there? Hi. I've done a lot of soul searching. In the last 30 seconds? Okay, not a lot. But if you just give me a few days, I'll figure this out and let you know my decision. 
You know what? We don't need a few days. It's over. What? Sydney, you're a great girl, but this whole thing's never gonna work. Todd and I have been friends for a long time. And we played Little League together. <laughs> so you're both breaking up with me? Looks that way. Oh, this is great. I lay my heart on the table, and you both dump me? Fine! You know what? I'm out of here! <laughs> Dude, I totally saw a leaf. <laughs> Casey, it's Wiseman. Can I come in? Are you alone? Yes. Hey. I was just wondering, which one of these do you like better? This one or... Tonight, marijuana, money, and machine guns, all part of the family business, but not anymore. The feds bust a major Southern California smuggling ring. And you've spent years committed to your career. Now you want out. What to do when your dream job turns out to be a drag? Heads up. Ahead.